Hi there, I'm Kurt with PTP, and today I want to talk to you about camera backpacks. Now, I just happen to be sporting the brand new Orca 24 backpack from Orca Bags, and I have to say, this is a pretty nice backpack, and I've kind of fallen in love with it. It is a larger backpack, but that's because it's designed for larger gear. Cameras, audio gear, lighting, grip gear, whatever you need to take on your treks, the backpack can go with you. Now, you'll notice that it has a beautiful Cordura nylon outer shell and has a nice blue trim here, but the blue trim isn't just window dressing. Oh no, it's actually an aluminum frame that help keeps the shape of the bag. And you'll notice that on both the front and the back of the bag. Now, while we're in the back, let's go ahead and talk about some of the really other cool features that you'll find back here. They have a nice aluminum handle and when you pull up on it, it'll actually retract and come to the lift position. And when you let go, it retracts back into the bag. You'll find out that the backpack straps themselves are made out of mesh, so they're very breathable. I gotta tell you, living in Phoenix, Arizona and hiking around in the back country in the summer, you're really gonna appreciate not having solid straps and waistband, but having mesh and breathable plastic. You'll also find that it has a power pocket that you can plug in a phone or a laptop or you know a, a tablet, whatever you have that can run off a small USB power, and you can plug it into the strap while you're wearing it. The phone could even be in the back pocket if you wanted it to be and use a Bluetooth headset or something along those lines. Very, very, very handy. Another feature I really like is this back mesh panel that actually comes away from the backpack to help keep your back dry while you're still walking. Now the Orca OR24 has six, count them, six exterior pockets. Two on the left and the right side of the bag and then you'll find two in the front as well. Now I have to be honest, the pockets that are on the left and right side, they both zip, but they're just a little shallow or they're not very deep for my taste, but you can still put smaller accessories down there. And even the outer pockets here have a, a flap that you could put a tripod plate, you could put a tripod leg or a monopod and cinch it to the bag, whatever you want. What really separates the Orca OR24 from other bags is what's inside. So let's open it up and take a look. So you'll notice that we have actually two really big zipper pulls on the front pouch. It zips open. And here's what you're absolutely gonna love. For the first time, for a cinema style camera, like a Red Epic, I can actually put the entire camera in the bag, built with the lens and the battery, everything good to go. Plus I have room for an extra battery and my map box or any other accessories that I'm looking for. One of the best features of the bag, besides having my entire gear built and ready to go, is that Orca has a tie-down strap on the inside of the bag that makes sure all of my gear stays nice and tight and taken care of. Now you'll notice it has a bright blue interior, which makes finding things in low lit areas really easy to find. But then there's some other things that we can take a look at in the bag itself. For starters, it comes with several other dividers and you can position them in the bag any way you want, just like other bags. I ended up taking mine out so I could put my entire camera built in there. It has something that's pretty unique just to this bag and that is this little pouch right here. Now, what you can do with this is you can stick it inside the bag and it has a USB cable that runs all the way through and into the strap to where if you had some kind of a USB power device, you can actually power your cell phone, your tablet, what have you, right here from the strap while you're hiking, walking, or just using the bag in everyday life. So when you open the lid, some of the other really cool features are that it has two large mesh pockets with zippers. These are perfect for small things like tools, filters, batteries, cables, any other thing that you might wanna put in your lid and have easy access to. And it's great because you can actually see through the mesh and see the actual product that you're trying to get to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the bag. The lid itself has two fairly decent sized pockets. The top pocket or the top portion here is a little bit larger than the smaller portion. The only thing that I don't necessarily love about all of the exterior pockets is they're just not thick enough. I like to put a lot more things in my bag and when I'm hiking and when I'm walking around and have accessibility to things. And I just wish that they were just a little bit thicker. Some of the other bags that I've used have thicker pockets and I wish that Orca would follow that tradition. However, perhaps on the second round of this bag, maybe they could use an attachment bag like some of the still photographers bags that I have in which the entire side can have a module that attaches to the side and you can put lenses, you can put batteries, you can put whatever you want on the out outside of the bag and it's easy access and when you don't want it you can take it off the bag. That would be a really cool feature. If we look to the bottom of the bag, this is something I actually really love. Again, I've owned bags for several years and 
when you set them down on the ground, they just take a pounding. Here, Orca has done something really nice and put in a integrated foot or rest system into the bag. And that way, when you set it down in the bag, the elements aren't tearing it up, whether that be concrete or dirt or rocks or what have you. Here's where you'll also find the integrated rain cover. It's right there in the bottom. And then it can wrap all the way around the bag to protect you while you're hiking. And you'll see that it's big enough that it goes around fairly fast. You don't have to dig around for it. And it's the exact perfect size. Another really nice feature is in the back of the bag. Most of us today have to take some sort of a laptop or even a tablet out into the field with us so that we can run our production equipment. Now, the Orca 24 has a nice pocket here that zips up and closes your tablet or your laptop. Now, if you have a larger workstation, I myself have a Sager portable workstation on the PC side, it's too big to fit into this pocket. However, if you have a MacBook Pro or a smaller profile PC, I think you'll have absolutely no problem being right there in the pocket. Another really nice feature about the Orca OR24 is this little cinch tie down on the right hand side of the backpack. Here you could put in a monopod or a small tripod and then cinch it down and take it with you while you go. So if you'd ask me, is the Orca OR24 the perfect backpack? I gotta be honest, I don't know. But what production equipment is absolutely perfect, right? I mean, nothing that I know of. I will tell you this though, the Orca OR24 can be configured for a wide variety of equipment to be taken with you in the field. And for me, the thing that I love the most is that I can absolutely assemble my entire camera and have it 90% ready to roll when I get on site. And for me, that is a huge, huge, huge draw for Orca bags. So if you're in the market for a backpack or just a camera bag that you need to take everything with you built and ready to go, check out the Orca Bags OR24. You'll be glad you did.